Hey friends, I won't say hey y'all today. Uh, been to work this morning and came home and working from home, but one of the things that we also do at home, and yes, I'm in the laundry room, there's the washer and dryer. Lynn's in here with me. We're the proprietors of OK Country Design Company. And one of the things we do is we cut things on a laser cutter. And one of the nursing homes in town is low on masks. So we're using remnants and material for some, a group of ladies in town that are gonna sew all this up into, I think they're covers for their existing masks or they make their masks last longer or something. I'm not really sure. But I know the cutting part is tough and that's what this laser does well. So not just gardening and chickens and all the stuff we normally have on here, but today we're cutting material for hospital masks with this uh, virus thing going on. So um, something new, something different, always something strange around here, but we're having fun, right? Okay, so there you go. Greetings from the greenhouse. It's been raining today. It's nice and cool in here even actually. So um, we are gonna make a pot or one of these wicking tubs um, that you see down in the center of the greenhouse and make one on video today out of this tub right here. And so uh, keep in mind, this is not me. This is Leon Sloan of Gardening with Leon on his channel where this came from. But all these tubs have some tubes in the bottom of them that hold a reservoir of water. They have a drain hole in the side that you fill up to the drain hole and they weep out the drain hole. They've got a fill pipe and then they have a cloth membrane over the tubes that are in the bottom. And then you put your soil in the tub and then you plant. And what happens is you fill these wicking tubs down that white pipe with a nutrient solution up to the drain hole. There's a little bit of airspace in there too, but that soil wicks that moisture up from below. And as the plants root down towards it, they begin to use that moisture instead of surface watering. And so then you just water like once a week down the white pipes in the tubs and they water themselves and they eat the food every day, uh, just like we do. So less maintenance, you're not having runoff, fertilizer runoff, you're not wasting water, um, and you're only watering once a week. So um, anyway, that's the concept. So we're gonna build one today and we'll show you the steps. Okay, so this is a, um, I think they're 20 or 30 gallon mineral tubs and uh, farmers and ranchers use them, cattle lick the molasses and protein solution out of them and then they don't really have a use for them and so you can get these for a dollar to three dollars or free uh, depending on who you know and um, it's, it's about a 20 gallon tub but you can use anything any kind of pot any kind of container and what's in here is french drain pipe this is the non-perforated kind so we drill holes in it but there's perforated kind it comes in four five and six inch diameter um, sections and lowe's even sells it um, i think with some a sock around it i'm not sure how well that would work but uh, anyway, this drain pipe is going to hold the water in the bottom of the bucket. We're getting ready to put a weed barrier over the top of these. And it's going to keep the soil out of the pipes. And, and the soil is going to get down in this side down here and down in that side over there and wick that moisture up. But there's going to be this area uh, inside here that's, that's full of water up to a certain point. We put the water in this pipe and there's a drain hole right down over there on the end of my finger at five inches, six inch pipe, five inch hole, five inch pipe, four inch hole, four inch pipe, three inch hole. Cause you want an inch of airspace in the tops of those pipes to help aerate your roots. So we're going to get ready and put this fabric in here and try to do it one handed. Vanna has done a bunch of these, <laughs> right? Um, so, 
I don't know if you can see that, but we have that in there and we're gonna add soil here in a okay. second and then we'll go from there. Okay, I've switched sides now, but we filled that with soil, potting soil, and up to a certain point here and we're scattering um, some fertilizer in here. Um, and the two fertilizers, I'll put the names of them in the comments. I can't remember them now. Uh, gosh, can't remember. Anyway, we put that in there and then what we're gonna do is top this off with soil all the way to the top and then we'll cut our extra material off the outside we'll fill this for the first time down this pipe it takes about five gallons in one of these containers with the pipes that we're using and we'll water in any new plants if we're using seed you have to water it every day for several days till that seed gets established and begins to root down to the moisture if you're using seedlings or plants like these, you can water them in, and within just a few days, they're they're already rooted into that moisture. Um, so that's how you prepare one. You can do that with a a flower pot, all the way up to a raised bed. You could fill the bottom of your raised bed with with uh, those black tubes, and do the exact same thing. You can do um, these. We have these hanging in the greenhouse. These are little metal tubs that are available at Walmart where you drill holes and put chains on them. But in the bottom of that is a one of those black tubes and it has a little pipe in the end to fill. That'll eventually all be full and running over. Same with the plant over there. Same deal. It's all, you can put this in anything and use this concept for anything. But uh, anyway, that's what we're doing this year with these. Okay, so there's a, a finished bucket we had some seedlings um they've been sitting in the house for several days out of the sun and they are looking rough but we got them out here got them in the soil lynn's gonna water them in um and just get everything good and soaked up wet just to kind of help them get started and then we're going to move this um tub or this wicking um, pot or whatever you want to call it over to its place in the row this is the spot we build all of our or um, build a mat and so we're gonna move that and then we'll be right back now we you do not have to do this but what we did was took a a little cart and we put a couple of rain barrels on it and i plumbed them in with a little uh 12 volt pump and a lawnmower battery and i've got a little solar panel on top helps keep the lawnmower battery topped up but we keep rain, rain water or fresh water in this barrel. We keep um, our nutrient solution. And then here comes Ruger, uh, our nutrient solution in that barrel. And then so you just run the little pump in here with a little plastic line. And this is how we fill them up. And the first time it takes about five gallons and there'll be a, um, the solution will come out of a drain hole that we drilled right here whenever that reservoir in the bottom is full after that we're only in here once a week and we put about this time of the year no hotter than it's been we're only putting about a gallon in there it takes about a minute or less per container as the summer wears on i'm sure once a week we'll be pumping three gallons or so in each one but that is a wicking tub and that's how they work for us not my idea a guy by the name of leon sloan gardening with leon this is his deal but i know people that's done it personally we went down and met leon also and uh just i think it's a great idea uh i've done hydroponics i've done aquaponics you can see on my channel some builds that we've done in the past and we've done a greenhouse last year and this year we upgraded and went a little bit bigger hoop house. Um, so anyway, that's what we're doing this year. If you have questions, uh, holler. Okay, so that's been filling about three or four minutes and you can see the water levels just about to come out the drain hole. So there's, there it goes. So there's that much water in the reservoir. Um, and that's how you build a wicking tub. I do have to show you one more thing over here. 
Today's March the 30th. And if you look right there, we have a tomato. Somebody asked the other day about, do you guys just buy all your plants already up? And no, we don't. Um, we plant a lot of things in the garden by seed or we buy like onions and things like that. You get sets or starts for onions. But then we also do these seed trays in the greenhouse and we start a lot of different things. There's 76 plants here or so coming. These are all tomatoes coming and there's some tomatoes here. This is all cucumber squash, water, or is there watermelon in here? I don't think so. Anyway, vining um, and squash type, zucchinis and all that's in this tray. So these will all come up and go out to the garden outside. Some of them we may put in here. We've got room in here for probably 10 or 15 more um, of our wicking tubs. And so we'll probably do that. Uh, we also did a strawberry bed down there the other day out of a IBC tote. Um, the tote is uh, got those black tubes in the bottom of it and a fill pipe, just like the wicking uh, tubs. But Instead, it is able to hold 20 or so gallons of nutrient solution in the bottom, has a drain pipe just like everything else, and all these strawberry starts will fill in in the greenhouse. So um, that's just something else you can do in here um, that we got started the other day. But no, we do not grow everything from uh, plants. We don't buy everything at the store, we start a lot of things from seed and do it out here, or we have some grow lights and we can do it in the house uh, if the, we're starting stuff earlier. Now that we have a hoop house like this, probably next year and in the fall, we'll um, start some things even sooner um, than we did this year. So um, anyway, answer that question. Hey friends. It's the end of another day. Uh, lots of clips today. Uh, did lots of different things today. It's kind of a rainy, dreary day. Um, just a random look at lots of different things going on today. And that's a typical day for us um, is to start with work and, and come home and do different work. And um, this quarantine kind of has things a little bit strange too. We seem to have a lot more time for um, projects and things around the house. So anyway, wrapping it up this evening. I hope you enjoyed the different things that we tackled today. And if you have questions, um, shoot them our way. Please subscribe, uh, hit that like button, ring the bell. Uh, thank you.